Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are now going to create the back face of this here fancy cube. So I'm going to start with create and document, and this is going to be the back face. And when we take a look at these instructions, it's very similar to the front face, except for maybe upside down. Um, the eyes or uh, teeth or whatever you want to call it, uh, they are going to be pentagons. They are 0.25 from the bottom. The size of the main rectangle is 2.25 and 2.25. The depth is 0.25. And the circle, our rectangle hole that's in here is the same as in the front face. It's 0.5 by 0.5, and the distance from the top is 0.5. The different distance from the side is 0.875. So almost identical, except for upside down. So here we go. We are going to start with a new sketch on the front face. And I know it's the back, but it doesn't really matter what face we start on. And I'm gonna start with my rectangle, go to the apex, click 2.25, enter, 2.25, enter, and there is my front face. Green check mark, extrude, choose my rectangle, make it isometric so I can see what I'm doing. Change my depth to 0.25. And there is that back face, the main shape. All right, new sketch on this front face of it here. Click back to front so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to start with a line. And this time I'm going to do that line about 25% from the bottom. I'm going to go and get my dimension tool. And I'm going to dimension from the blue line to the bottom of the square. And this is going to be 0.5. So now I know where that uh, those pentagons are supposed to be. Now I'm going to go grab the pentagon and scribe the polygon tool and make a pentagon just like we were making a circle before. Except for this time it starts off as a hexagon, six sided. I'm going to click, move back one until it says five sides. I'm going to click. I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the exact same thing again. Unlike a circle, I can't describe where it goes, but it is remembering the shape pentagon. So I'm going to, I don't want it to be locked into the same place. See how it's creating that orange line, locking it in? I don't want that. So I'm going to move it until my mouse is off of that. It's five sides. Oh, I moved my mouse. Five sides. Click. And now I'm going to dimension each one. So I dimension the first one. It's going to be 0.33. I'm going to dimension my second one. It's going to be 0.33. I need to dimension from the center dot to the side edge, and that's going to be 0.5. Same thing on the other side, the center dot to the right edge, it's going to be 0.5. And then I need to come back with my horizontal tool, and the horizontal tool, I'm going to line up the bottom of each one of these and make them horizontal. Green check mark. I'm going to extrude. Extrude both of these pentagons and then my depth for them is going to be 0.75. Green check mark. New sketch on the front face. Square tool. Oh, let's change it back to front view so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to draw my square. It doesn't matter what size I choose. 0.5, enter, 0.5, enter. Dimension tool, 
from the bottom, I'm sorry, from the top of the little square to the top of the big square. And I want that to be 0.5. And from the side of the little square to the side of the big square, this is going to be 0.875. Green check mark, extrude, choose that rectangle I just created. Let's change the isometric so I can see what I'm doing. I want to remove green check mark and there is my shape. I need to now add some color. Going to two finger click, edit appearance, choose a color that makes me happy. I'm going to choose that one. There we go. I like that green check mark. I can change another color of it and I'm going to choose yellow and I want to change. Now I can go through and click on each one of these sides or I can come over here and choose extrusion number two, which is those guys. And if I click on extrusion number two, I can now come back and choose my color. Oops. There we go. And so it changes the color on all of them. And then if I wanted the whole, I could do the same thing. I could change the color. I don't think I want to change the color of the whole there. Green check mark. I'm going to change the color of the whole to a different color. I want to say that extrusion and I'm going to change it to, oh, I don't know. Let's change it to super light. Oh, I chose the wrong thing. How about that one? There we go. And so you can see, depending on which extrusion you click, it will undo and redo which extrusion you click. So I want it on the third extrusion, green check mark, close the color window, and there you are, the back face.